Hi, it's me again. So in this video, we'll look at the top supplements to help ease diverticulitis, which is a painful colon condition that's you know, pretty common in people over the age of 60. Now, here's what that condition is. Uh, what happens is the person develops these pocket-like pouches that form on the colon lining. Um, these pouches are called diverticula. Now, I'll actually show you what they look like here on the board. I mean, here we've got a rough diagram of a colon, and you get these pouches. These are the diverticula. And there can be you know, any number of them on the colon. So you know, um, these pouches can actually capture you know, and then become inflamed with like, fecal matter and um, bacteria. You know, and when that happens, it's referred to as a, a diverticulitis flare-up. Now, these pouches develop when the, the colon muscles uh, they become weak from physical stress, you know, and that stress can be caused by, you know, any number of factors like poor diet, um, obesity, smoking, uh, chronic constipation, uh, you know, an imbalance in the microorganisms in your gut, um, not getting enough exercise, and uh, and, and the overuse of drugs that can, you know, irritate your gut lining like ibuprofen. Um, so, you know, when you consider what the causes of, di you know, diverticulitis are, you know, it really should be clear that the condition is entirely preventable, you know, and, you know, what you want to do is to avoid developing the diverticula in the first place. You know, those are those little pockets. Now, because once they form, uh, you know, you really can't get rid of them, and, you know, and at that point, the focus really turns to preventing the flare-ups. So, you know, here's some supplements that can help. Right. First, take a probiotic, you know, the one, has, the one that has, you know, some of the more beneficial strains of bacteria. Uh, because what a probiotic does is it helps to create and restore a healthy gut. You see, probiotics, you know, they, they keep fecal matter from lingering in the colon, you know, and clogging the diverticula. Um, they, they also can help to relieve gas and bloating and diarrhea. Um, now, constipation can also flare up diverticulitis. And so, you know, you can avoid becoming, if you can avoid becoming constipated, you know, you'll have a better shot at avoiding the flare ups. Um, the first thing to do there, you know, if you have a tendency to become uh, constipated, you know, if you find yourself in that situation, you know, is to supplement with magnesium. Uh, because, you know, most people are magnesium deficient, you know, and that tends to be, uh, it tends to result in constipation. Um, also, increasing your fiber intake, you know, can really help to move things along. And for this, you know, tricillium, you know, it comes from the husks of um, an Indian plant seed, and it provides uh, bulk fiber, you know, which creates like a mild laxative effect. Um, eating flax seeds, you know, will also boost your fiber, you know, and you can get the same, uh, you know, get that same benefit as you get from psyllium. You know, you can, um, you can grind up the flax seeds and add them to your smoothie or uh, to yogurt or, you know, mix them with uh, grain-free flour, you know, if you do any baking, you know, and in that case, you know, use something like coconut or almond flour, which are, you know, good sources of fiber also. Uh, and if you use flax seeds, you know, for your fiber, you'll also get the benefit of the, you know, the anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acid called ALA, you know, that's alpha linoleic acid. Um, and if you take all of these together, together, you know, the probiotics, the psyllium, and the flax seeds, you know, the combination really creates a bit of a synergistic effect, you know, because the fiber, the fiber is actually a prebiotic, which means that it, it feeds the healthy bacteria, you know, which you have in your gut and which you're getting in your probiotic supplement. Um, fiber, you know, also protects the probiotics from your stomach acid. So, you know, that they make it all the way down into your intestines, which is you know, where they need to be in order to, you know, do their job of, of aiding digestion and um, fighting infection. So, you know, those supplements are sort of your baseline defense to keep everything in order. Um, but there are also supplements that can help, you know, once the flare-ups have already started to happen. Um, you can try aloe vera, you know, specifically in juice form that doesn't contain aloe latex. Um, what it does is it promotes the healing of the inflamed areas. You know, it also um, like, you know, promotes healthy digestion and um, supports your healthy gut bacteria.
Now, another supplement that can help with the flare-ups is the amino acid L-glutamine. Um, what it does is it improves the mucosal lining of the intestines. And, you know, remember, that's where the pockets are forming. Um, this repair of the mu mucosal lining, um, it not only helps ease the diverticulitis, but it also helps with uh, leaky gut syndrome. Now, um, some herbs that can provide relief from diverticulitis include a slippery elm, you know, which helps to ease constipation and um, soothe the infected diverticula. Uh, another natural remedy is wild yam, you know, which is not the yam in the produce section of your grocery store. You know, it's actually a plant root you know, that has quite a few medicinal properties. Um, it's a powerful anti-inflammatory and you know, it also helps reduce muscle spasm. You know, and so that means it helps to reduce like abdominal cramping and pain caused by the inflamed uh, diverticula. Um, now, you can also take peppermint, you know, which you can get in supplement form. Um, and, you know, it can help to reduce digestive spasms and it, it helps to, re, you know, relax stomach muscles and, you know, soothe the colon lining. Um, another herb with similar benefits to peppermint is licorice root. You know, in addition to reducing the uh, digestive spasm and relaxing stomach muscles, it also supports bile production. And that really helps to support, you know, healthy digestion. All right, so the key here is preventing colon stress in the first place. You know, to learn more on that, watch my video called uh, Aging with a Healthy Colon. Uh, but if you do develop diverticula, you know, flare-ups can be managed and even prevented by, you know, eating a healthy diet uh, that's low in carbohydrates, um, exercising, and, you know, supplementing with some or, you know, all of what I've, you know, what I've covered in this video. All right, so I hope you find those suggestions helpful, you know, for yourself or, you know, somebody that you know, and I'll see you in the next video.